Do you think Lance Lynn is too fat to pitch oh, right oh, now? Oh, oh, the, the, the Steve Stone comment. Yes. I couldn't believe that wasn't in your notes. So that's why I would have put it, put it in as a, a, a surprise in my ask all question for the week. But yes, um, when I Steve, have... Steve Stone yeah. uh, went on the Parkinson Spiegel show once again. And uh, with much in his, he's a sarcastic guy. That's that's why, part of why I think he's one of the best broadcasters, but he's also has the the acumen and the way to deliver that uh, on the air that is better than almost any color analyst in any sport I've ever heard. But uh, his his sarcastic wit also makes me laugh, but he may have taken it a bit far as I don't think I've ever heard a uh, TV broadcaster criticized one of his players for being fat. Uh, he, he did, ha- he did say, uh, maybe a salad or two, or maybe a couple salads might solve some of Lance Lynn's ERA issues where he's now seven, seven and a half ERA for the season. Um, yeah, it's, it's up there and it's always just, it's seven, five, two. It's always just one inning that, which is, yeah. the the crazy thing. Cause that the game I was at the last game when they won, he had the one bad inning and only let up three runs, and then they ended up winning in extras. But on oh, no, that, that never mind. I strike that. That was the day before. Check that. that was a couple days before. Oh. He had only let up the three runs and had like eleven strikeouts in the game. But mm. Steve but yeah. had some had some logic behind. It. He wasn't just fat shaming him. He was actually people were saying he was fat shaming. He was actually ERA shaming him is what he was doing. But uh, the logic was, you know. Lance Lynn has had some leg issues and he does carry a lot of weight. He is, might be amongst the biggest pitchers out there. Um, and not, not in just a height way. He is, he's got the girth, but uh, he also pointed out the pitch clock yes. might be an issue for him. And we have seen the, the ERAs and the general performance of pitchers over 30, 36 years old. I think the stat is uh, they've really struggled this year and that they're, just the quick pace of that pitch clock might make a, uh, you know, cardiovascular fitness more of a factor for pitchers in general that we haven't haven't had to deal with until this year. So that I think it's a salient point. I think he he uh, he kind of you know brought it up in a crass way and a surprisingly crass way on on the radio in the local market. Two way player on the field. I can't believe Lynn would be very happy about that, but. I don't know. I, I guess I posed you the question. I just talked all over. But is Lynn too fat? I mean, compared to other years, I don't know that he is. I thought he looked a little bigger than before, maybe, but maybe. I mean, even he, if not, that pitch clock is a, is a, just a different factor. Yeah, I mean, is it is it he doesn't have enough time for his body to recover between pitches with the way he throws? I, yeah, I don't know, but like Can catch his breath. I mean, every one of his home runs was not like, oh, the hitter, you know, put the ball on a good pitch and got lucky. Yeah, these are all like splitting the plate, and they're just mm. tat- they're tattooing them. Not not they're all mistakes by him. Yeah. So, and it's like I said, it's usually just one inning, but the one inning is is tremendous. It's three to five runs. I think. Um, I think maybe we could like probably look at velocity to really answer that question. Uh, see if his velocity is down like later, later in his outings, you know, in yeah. fourth or fifth innings I, or, I mean, or later in an inning itself or in a long at bat. Maybe that's a way to quantify it, but, but in this very more like funny ask whole question, yes. I would say, you know, I I'm going to go with Steve here. He's a little bit older, maybe a few salads, you know, working a few salads in there. Maybe have, you know, maybe, Maybe split the difference. Instead of in the brisket sandwich, have a brisket salad. <laughs> it's never a bad idea to throw in a salad. Yeah. The irony here is, I, I believe Steve Stone is very famous for not eating vegetables. I think. He oh yeah, yeah. He's he's not a healthy eater. But no, he, he yeah. refuses to eat vegetables. He he brings it up on food is a constant subject in the booth but, with but he, he and Benetti. But, for his age, and he's he fine. Is, Whatever. Yeah. He's got it figured. That part figured out. But to to offer advice to eat a couple salads <laughs> yeah. uh, seems a little bit ironic by Steve Stowe, but may- maybe that was the whole joke to begin with. Cause that dude is smarter than I'll ever be. So maybe his, his comedy might be working on a different level that I couldn't even fathom. Well, you were right. The white Sox, we just couldn't stop talking about them. Oof. Yeah. we. <laughs> that was a lot, but 
Uh, that'll break off nicely into. I might. I might actually break off the socks type thing and do its own podcast this week because that was significant. But like a dump. <laughs> yes, like Ozzy's dump. <laughs> Media.